students what's up for you welcome back to my channel it is nothing to say about you have to stay at your home due to closed your schools because of running a pandemic disease of covid 19 that's why i came to you another new topic on chapter 11 as according to your chemistry book in my previous video i discussed about the only introduction of hydrocarbons but today i will discuss about the only aromatic hydrocarbons there are two types of the carbons one is aliphatic hydrocarbon the another is aromatic hydrocarbon now before starting the aromatic hydrocarbon i want to say some words to you the students who are ssc level students for them only there are two important questions in this topic such as the question one is that what do you mean by aromatic hydrocarbon and the another question is that benzene or naphthalene is an aromatic hydrocarbon explain it you will get this answers from this video is watch this video from first to last let's start the aromatic hydrocarbon though you should know the word of aromatic the word aromatic uh, is taken from the greek word aroma that means sand so it is so named because the first uh, aromatic hydrocarbons were sweet smelling. Besides this, there are some special characteristics of aromatic hydrocarbon. One is that they have to be cyclic compounds. They have to be cyclic compounds. That means carbon connected together and make sphere or cycle the second characteristic of aromatic hydrocarbon is that it is a planar compound what do you mean by planar compounds a compound is said to be a planar if all the carbon atoms lie in the same plane you can see the structure of benzene as a planar compound on the screen the last one is that it has a must alternative double bond what do you mean by alternative double bond very easy to say uh, there is a carbon carbon double bond and also then a carbon carbon single bond all of this uh, characteristic of aromatic hydrocarbons we can define it the aromatic hydrocarbons are those hydrocarbons in which they are uh, generally five six or seven membered coplanar compounds or cyclic compounds and also it has a alternative uh, double bond that means there is a carbon carbon double bond uh, and then a carbon carbon single bond there are a lot of uh, example for aromatic hydrocarbons but in a textbook uh, only two examples uh, are given i am showing them benzene is one example for aromatic hydrocarbon the another is naphthalene is uh, also aromatic hydrocarbons uh, you have to remember one thing that apart from the benzene in other aromatic hydrocarbons have benzene rings i will uh, give some of examples in case of 
benzene. Here the chemical formula for benzene C six A six. But the structural formula uh, of benzene are written as according to the characteristics as below. There are uh, six uh, number of carbons in this compound, so you have to write the number of carbons uh, side by side in a cyclic OS. So here carbon carbon double bond and again carbon carbon single bond and again also carbon carbon double bonds then carbon carbon single bond then also carbon carbon double bond. This is a uh, alternative double bond which means there is a carbon carbon double bond and then a carbon carbon single bond. Now the rest of uh, valences of carbons are filled with hydrogen element. But it has another uh, structure for benzene. Another example uh, of aromatic hydrocarbon is that naphthalene. The chemical formula of naphthalene is that C10H8. But in the structural formula of naphthalene, there are two benzene rings are connected together. So we can show it as the following structure. that uh, in both of a uh, compounds uh, it has an alternative double bond and also it is a planar cyclic compound. So uh, that is why benzene or uh, naphthalene is an aromatic hydrocarbon. Today is the end of my video. See you next video on the aliphatic hydrocarbons. Please keep your eyes on my next video more and more like share and comments and also subscribe my channel to get more videos